Heverlis Kalkaroo project lies roughly 500 kilometres northeast of Adelaide and about 100 kilometres from Broken Hill. The area is semi-arid pastoral country and it's used entirely for sheep grazing. This is uh, Havilah's Kalkaroo uh, project and out behind me here uh, under this wide open flat lies the Kalkaroo copper gold deposit. It has uh, no surface expression at all because it's covered with 30 to 60 metres of overburden. Now the deposit was first discovered by Placer in the early 1990s and they were drilling uh, a wildcat drilling a magnetic anomaly and in fact they uh, had several intersections through the deposit as did two other companies subsequently uh, but none of them actually put the picture together and realized that the sitting underneath was this major three kilometer long deposit so we took all of the previous drilling data and loaded it into Vulcan 3D software. And in this software, we were able to build up a geological model and that provided the basis for us to plan our own drilling program to explore for a large buried copper deposit. Here we're looking under the surface and can see Havilah's drilling that outlined the large Kalkaroo copper gold resource, which is shown here by the multicolored shape. The higher grade zones of copper and gold are shown by the uh, red and the yellow colours. And Havilah took this resource and designed a large open pit mine. And that open pit is optimised to profitably mine the entire resource. Kalkaroo is a somewhat unusual copper deposit in that it contains uh, quite abundant native copper. And native copper is actually almost pure copper metal. And uh, just to prove the point, Bob Johnson took some of this material and melted it and poured an ingot of pure copper. Now, the beauty with native copper is that it's relatively easy to recover by gravity methods and it's virtually direct shipping ore. So when we come to mine Kalkaroo, we're going to start mining this native copper first and then we'll move to mining the deeper sulphides beneath. I'm standing right on top of the Kalkaroo ore body here and the bulk of the copper gold mineralisation starts 60 metres vertically below me here and it extends for three kilometres in that direction. In fact, right here I'm within the confines of our planned starter open pit at West Kalkaroo. We're at the very western end of the ore body and uh, we've done this drilling represented uh, by all these plastic bags and the drill collar here. Uh, to accurately define the uh, shallower copper gold uh, resource within the starter open pit. This is the collar of the 460th hole that we've drilled at Kalkaroo. And in fact this hole was drilled within the last couple of months as part of the uh, program to uh, test in detail the resource within our conceptual starter open pit at West Kalkaroo. Now you'll notice this uh, drill hole is angled back at 60 degrees this way and the reason for that is that the Kalkaroo ore body is actually dipping at 45 degrees. So by drilling at 60 degrees uh, we intersect the ore body almost uh, at 90 degrees. So the intersection we get in these drill holes are almost true thicknesses of the ore body. And in this area here the, the ore body is 50 to 80 metres thick in a continuous section. Now because uh, we want to test the ore body uh, down the dip. We don't just drill one hole, we drill a series of holes, offensive holes. So we'll drill one shallow, medium depth, deeper and deeper. So that's why here we have this collar and we have four more drill holes back behind it. Each one of these holes behind this one intersects the ore body at a greater depth. So we build up a very good picture of what the ore body is doing at depth. Uh, all of these drill holes here have been drilled by the reverse circulation percussion method. So the sample comes up as a fine dust or powder and drill chips each and we collect it in these plastic bags and each bag represents a sample from a one meter interval. So this one here for example is from 72 to 73 meters and the, the rock has been crushed and powdered during the drilling process 
and we uh, carefully split off three kilograms of this sample and uh, send that to the laboratory. And that's what's analysed. We get the results back and we plot it against the drill hole and we can build, build up a picture of the, uh, the quality of the copper and the gold mineralisation. Now this particular hole, if you add up all the bags, um, it's 96 metres deep. So we've got 96 bags here, all with one metre samples in them. Thank you.